Hey guys, today is September the 25th of 2017. I want to go over Uranium ETF URA using WDGAN price and time technical analysis. So please pause the video and read the video disclaimer. Let's not waste any time, guys. It looks like Uranium futures are selling off. Looks like a nice little bull trap uh, on the uh, 7th and it's just been trending lower. It's at 1918. And uh, looks like it could go to 1915. So let's see how that uh, pans out. Looking at the chart, uh, what is it, the ninth? Okay, so here it's showing that this could be a buying zone anywhere between that 81361 and uh, 1350 or 49. I don't know because the seasonality right now, it looks like it wants to push lower. There's a cycle pivot change here going up you can see how the cycle is interesting it, it, it puts a pivot low here swings up puts a pivot high here we kind of go sideways price action and then right now is going to put a swing pivot low on the 26 25th 26 and it wants to go up uh, and this could go either respect that swing pivot low and trend higher or ignore it and go lower and make a low on a swing pivot high like i said cycles invert there's a science behind it uh, price action uh, mostly never follows it exactly if not we'll be all rich just give you a little tip there so you just have to have the science and the art of reading and deciphering moves within cycles. So let's see that. Volume, let's look at this real quick. Anemic, very low. Uh, stochastics pointing lower. RSI pointing lower on, vol on balance volume low. I mean, pretty much sideways. Uh, crossover on the uh, MACD. Uh, this is just says it's noise cycle time, time clusters. So let's look at the... Uh, lines here and you can see on the uh, linear regression channel it just came out so that's not good very oversold uh, and it could continue going lower so you got to be careful uh, on the GAN uh, angles nothing there uh, it's below the uh, exponential moving average on the fibs it's holding this uh, right here is expecting it or at least holding a support 1358 which is a 75 percent it cracks that there's going to be some other angles going on here, but, you know, it could test this low over here, 1314. It could test this low over here, 1226. Uh, and it could even test the 1168. So you can't rule anything out. Uh, let's go into uh, the GAN grid here. And if we get closer, I had this date here on the 23rd. And it uh, looks like the sell-off came here. 50%, 1366, uh, the balance area. So it could... Uh, test this angle right here um, and this is a 75 percent which is a 929 of uh, September uh, what time is it three minutes well wow, I'm really doing good uh, and then this is the uh, the other gang grid from the uh, November 9th low to the February 15 high so this is a little more uh, fractal and smaller uh, and right now is looking at all the angles it's holding that 13. Uh, 59-ish around there or attempting to hold it. So let's see. Uh, you can see these trend lines. Uh, and this trend line over here, it failed it. Got a nice little bull trap and uh, sold off. So, I mean, it could it could chop around here, but if it's going to sell off, it's probably going to test this angle here because none of these charts have anything of support around over here. So let's see how that goes. And let's see over here. Uh, well, there might be one over here too, anywhere between that 13.35, so we'll see. Uh, one thing I wanted to cover was the Euro. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my last video that I'm thinking about shorting the Euro. Uh, and today got a nice little red candle. I'm not going to short it yet. You know, there's kind of like support over here. I want to. I don't want to buy it at premium. I'm going to wait for some bulls to come up uh, and maybe... Uh, I don't know, maybe do some uh, FIB here. I still need to do some uh, statistics on, 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 on Euro to see how uh, the month of October behaves. Uh, but, you know, this could be a nice little selling point, uh, 1929. But I know it's going down, or in my opinion, that's what the uh, 
the analysis is showing it's this is pretty much uh, the end of the run, but we'll see. So, but it looks nice. That's nice right there. If you're bearish, that's nice. But if you want to get in, that's not nice because then, you know, if it goes up, you're going to feel some pain. So uh, I'm going to wait for it to go up. And then once I f see some weakness, maybe it could go up and maybe test this here. Or maybe the 50 within this candle, uh, you know, like that. Maybe it's going to probably test at uh, 1885. So we'll see. Uh, but, one, you know, you, you enter a small position and see how it pans out. But uh, in my opinion, I think uh, it's going to go lower. And they could find support here at that 13... 1709 which is at 37.5 with this angle going up right here so it'll be a nice little quick you know nothing uh, I mean it could go you know push lower but you know you just take it one day at a time I'm going to sign out hopefully you like this video and I'll keep you uh, posted on my thoughts on the uh, uranium sector and uh, the euro I, uh, next video I'll probably be posting a stock that I'm watching uh, just to give uh, for a stock traders idea so I got currencies, I got, you know, commodities, and a stock idea will be coming up on the next video. I uh, hope you like this video, and I'll see you again.